But let's move on to some news from social media. Ever since Elon Musk pranked himself into buying Twitter for $44 billion, <laughs> he has been trying to reshape the entire website according to what he likes. He's brought back thousands of suspended accounts. He's made it easier to get a blue check mark. And now any number you tweet is automatically changed to 69. <laughs> yeah. You post that your dad only has three days left, now he has 69. Nice. <laughs> Rest in peace, but nice. But Elon's biggest promise is that under his leadership, Twitter is completely open for free speech, no matter how wrong that speech might be. A potentially dangerous new change on Twitter. The social media site is no longer enforcing its policy against COVID misinformation. Twitter suspended more than 11,000 accounts for breaking the policy and removed almost 100,000 pieces of content between January of 2020 and September of 2022. And Musk is promising to restore many previously banned Twitter accounts as soon as this week. Health experts are concerned that it could diminish efforts to stop the spread of the virus and could discourage vaccinations. Okay, look, maybe this is my vaccine microchip talking, but <laughs> I don't think it's responsible for Twitter to bring back the people who are spreading COVID misinformation. You know, but, but on the other hand, on the other hand, it is 2022. Like, how can you still be misinformed about COVID? You know, we're just running around like, I heard the vaccine turns you into a lizard. Mother it's been three years. You see any lizards? <laughs> You see any lizards here? They probably hide it. And, and forget COVID for a second. It's crazy that anyone would go to Twitter for any medical information. <laughs> you know, people should be going to the doctor for this stuff, but because no one can afford a doctor in America, people are out here searching hashtag bump on my dick and hoping to find the cure. <laughs> They're like, on my dick. That's not what I was looking for. 